Hello everybody and welcome to this session. Today we are going to learn about normalization techniques in database tables. Let's look at this example to understand this. We have this table, it's called employee, and there are various data elements in this table called the employee ID, the employee name, department name, department manager, city, and country. The aim of normalization is to reduce redundant or repeating data. If we take a closer look at this table, we'll be able to identify that there is some repeating data in this table. So the department name and the department manager, the employee belongs to the department called HR. Employee number two also belongs to the department called HR. So I have got some repeating data here, which can be avoided. So now let's see how we can do that in the first normalized form. The way to avoid this redundant data is to create a new table called department. This department table will have all the data or all the columns which are related to that department. So for each department, I have one row in this new table called department, which has all the attributes which define that department. So I have two columns which I have taken from my original table which are the department name and department manager. I have now generated a primary key of this table called the department ID, which is nothing but a numeric value that's auto-generated and auto-incremented. And now I have another set of table which has all that department data. Now what happens to my original table and how do I avoid that repetition of data in that table? Once I have created this new table called department and I've created a primary ID that identifies each department, I can just reference this primary key here in my original table. So now I can remove the department name and department manager columns from my original table and just put the department ID column in this table. So now I have reduced the storage requirements to a bit because now I'm not repeating HR, Rachel, HR, Rachel again and again in this table. So my storage requirements have decreased and I have decreased redundancy to an extent here. Now, if I want to find out to which department, what is the name of the manager of the department to which employee Tom belongs, I can simply go to my table, identify the department ID to which Tom belongs. And then based on that ID, I can get the further details of that department by joining to or going to the department table. So this is your first normal form, wherein you try to avoid the repeating values in your table. Now let's see what else can be done to improve the structure of this database table that we have now converted into the first normalized form. Now, if we take a look at this table, we have the table called employee after the first normalized form, which has still has columns like the employee name, the department ID, city, and country. Now I can observe one thing here that the columns, employee name, city, and country, the values in these columns, the data in these columns belongs to or depends on only the employee ID. So there is only a relationship or dependency with the employee ID and not the department ID here. So let's assume a unique record in this table is represented by employee ID and department ID, which makes the employee ID and department ID as my primary keys. I have these non-key columns, the employee name, city and country. The values in these columns are dependent only on the employee ID. So only one of the primary keys and not on department ID, which is my second primary key. So to go for the second normalized form, I need to create another table that will have all the attributes which are dependent on only one of the primary keys. My main table cannot have those attributes. So I'll move all the attributes which are related to the employee ID to another table called the employee table. So now here I have created the employee table where I have the values employee ID and all the attributes which are dependent or related to the employee ID, which are the employee name, city and country. 
So now I have got two tables, the department ID and the employee ID. And then there's my main table that has the dependency between or the link or relationship between the employee ID and department ID. So now I want to see the employee name and the department name of employee whose ID is one. So what I need to do is go to this table. So I will search the record which has the employee ID as one. I can see that record here. I'll try to identify the department ID, which is one, which I can see from this table. To get the employee details, the employee name, I will, I will use the employee ID, go to the employee table, get the employee name is strong. To get the department name, I will take the department ID, which is related to that employee ID, go to the department table and get the department name. So this is how these three tables are linked. And this is the second normal form. Now, again, if we look at this employee table that we have created after the second normalized form, we can see that there are two columns called the city and country. Now, we can observe one thing here that the value of the country is dependent on the value of the city. So if there is any city that lies in the country of USA, the country would be USA. So that is a relationship between the city and the country. Now, the third normalized form says, that these dependencies, which are known as transitive dependencies, should be removed from your tables. So now we are going to create another table called the city table. And this city table will be, will be having columns called the city and the country, which are dependent on each other. So not exactly on each other. Can the value of country is dependent on the value of the city. We will create another primary key called the city ID. And then we will reference that city ID in the employee table. So now my employee table has the employee ID, the employee name, and instead of having the city and country columns, now I am referencing, referencing to another table called the city table by using the city ID. So the city ID is the primary key here. It becomes the foreign key here. My department table remains as it is, and my relationship table remains as it is. So to get the details of the city to which my employee belongs, I go to the main table, which is the employee ID department ID table. I fetch the employee ID. Fetching the employee ID, I go to the employee table. From the employee table, I fetch the city ID. After fetching the city ID, I go to the city table and there I can find the name of the city to which that employee belongs. So this becomes a third normal form wherein we remove the transitive dependencies from the data that we have in the tables. So this is all about the three normal forms in a very simple way. Thank you for watching this video.